Today, we'll be installing the spoon, rod end, sway bar, end links. The first step is to support your car with jack stands and then remove the tires. Remove the old links and install the new ones. The rod end should be perpendicular to the sway bar to avoid any binding. Use a wrench to hold the new links while the lock nut is installed. Install the links on both sides and then compress the poly. Move to the rear and remove the old links. Install the new link and then secure it with a wrench and torque down the lock nut. The rear rod end should be parallel to the rear sway bar. Raise the axle to right height and then compress the bushings. Reinstall all four wheels and torque them to spec. I did run into an issue with my Detroit Speed sway bar moving a little bit to the side and causing the links to scrape on the body. I solved this problem by buying some 1 and 3 8 inch lock collars. I ground them down a bit and then installed them on my sway bar. This removes any unwanted side to side movement. These collars won't be necessary if you have stock sway bars. As far as how effective these links are, I wasn't able to notice a difference because my suspension is already ridiculously stiff. I do however think these links will last a lot longer than the stock ones. I definitely like how they don't bind or flex under load. Thanks for watching, remember to subscribe and follow me on Instagram.